Hey tribe, what's up? Welcome back to Peaceful Ambition. Most of you guys know I was in Jamaica just last week. Now I'm back in the States with my children and the experience of Jamaica is still so fresh in my brain. Guys, today I wanna talk about the beautifulness of Jamaica and just things, cool things that I saw around the country while I was there. peaceful ambition please make sure you subscribe down below make sure you hit that hashtag or hit that thumbs up sorry <laughs> hit that thumbs up for me and make sure you share out the video if you're already part of the tribe wagwan welcome back make sure you share out the video so we can get more tribe members so let's get into the video the so one thing that i can truly say that i loved about jamaica are the plants just around us the trees the greenery guys oh my goodness we were on the toll driving to dunn's river one time and when we drove to ocho rios which is kind of the same way um it was just beautiful i was honestly breath my breath was taken away from seeing the scenes the scenery the 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 palm trees the just the wild everything it was just so beautiful you know going up in the hills and um seeing over kingston when we went to see the cam fam um out in st thomas was also breathtaking i was able to see blue mountain on one side see um another mountain on the other side it was just breathtaking guys jamaica is so beautiful just by the naturalness you know to me the land seems so rich and not to even talk about us being able to walk down the street and to see a mango tree or to see a plum tree or a breadfruit tree or, or a coconut tree like to me that's amazing yeah we got some orange trees down here in florida or you know you may be able to see um some other fruit tree but to literally just walk normal down the block and see at least five different fruits is amazing to me and it's it's just like ugh. I love it. I love it because just think when you're a kid and you're hungry outside, you can go outside and go climb the trees. Same things that my husband told me. I see why because they're honestly everywhere around. So that's one thing that I can truly, truly say that I was kind of, I want to say shocked, but I was amazed with when it came to Jamaica, the greenery, the naturalness was just so beautiful. So throughout my trip in Jamaica, you know, we traveled to different parts of Jamaica and I started realizing that I start seeing some positive signs like actually posters or you know just signs on the side of the road throughout jamaica so i said you know what this will be a good idea to take a picture of some of the signs and kind of talk about them because guys before i even came to jamaica i'm not gonna lie i was very nervous because when i talk to other jamaicans you know they always tell me oh it's rough it's this and that you got to be careful what neighborhood you go in and this and that and you know me as an american especially an american that was not going to stay on a resort i was a little nervous you know i was I'm like well i was a little nervous just because of what i heard but guys when i went to jamaica myself and i was able to experience it and to just say you know what i'm going to have my guard up because of course i want to be safe but at the same time i'm going to enjoy myself this is my first time in jamaica so i'm going to make sure that anything that i can do i will do so once i started looking around and started noticing how beautiful and rich the land was i started noticing positive things about the country also yeah there were some things that might have been a little shaky and i'll have a video on that the pros and cons traveling to jamaica but you know for the most part i saw a lot of beautiful things so guys i just want to mention these signs that i saw so right here you guys see the sign that says trees for life i love that because guys i love of trees and if you know trees are so important trees help us breathe trees help us build trees help us with so many things the fact that they had that up in jamaica to me is so cool you know even though it may be a sign um that's small somewhere but someone's gonna read that and be like yeah trees for life let's protect our trees let's take care of them you know i mentioned the greenery in jamaica it seems like there's so much naturalness out there that we need to take care of our naturalness you know i went to um a spring a water spring up in the mountains, had to climb through it, and it was beautiful. So just imagine if that sign wasn't there and people didn't care about it or care about our environment or the environment up in Jamaica and they just, you know, did whatever they wanted. So that sign, even though it was so small, it still meant a lot to me to have that up. I feel like it was a positive push towards, you know, what we want people to know, trees for life. The other sign that I saw, this was actually right here, when we were coming from um, the toll, it says 
family strong people what else can i say you know family strong is so true your family is who you are you know your family has to be strong when i saw that i was like yes family strong guys because my family is so important to me and just to say family strong means that i'm going to stick with them thick and thin you know up and down my family's there we're going to be strong together so that really meant a lot to me so the next sign that i saw right here was also on the toll and it says no matter what i love that one guys no matter what when we drove past that one i was like yes no matter what no matter what i'm gonna do this no matter what i'm gonna live my life no matter what i'm gonna keep pushing guys i love that that has to be my favorite one even though it's so simple i love it no matter what because you can honestly use that with anything no matter what i'm gonna be myself no matter what I'm going to just do what I got to do. So I love that they had those signs on the highway, you know, just to kind of give, well, at least give me some eye candy. But at the same time, those small things that you see and just read, sometimes I feel like, you know, they go into your brain. They go into who you are and you kind of remember them and kind of move by that. You know, trees for life, no matter what, family strong. And then now this sign, guys, right here. <laughs> I took a picture of this sign just because I thought it was really funny. And this is actually not the only sign that I saw like this. A lot of people was like, do not pee in my yard, do not pee there. And it's just funny because um, a lot of times when Tatum says, I gotta pee, we're outside. Daddy was like, just go pee over there, just pee over there. So I kind of see why people's like, hey, don't pee on my lawn. So it was just funny to me that someone put that up and they had, they were so serious. It was like, go home and pee. <laughs> So, yes, people, I just want to say, you know, I enjoy Jamaica to the max. I climbed Dumbs River, um, climbed some plum trees, tried Jamaican apples, ate all types of mangoes, definitely had, you know, a moment in my life that I didn't even think that was possible. You know, I really enjoyed myself from the time that I landed until the time that I left. You know, we went to um, Portmore, had some delicious fish met up with a subscriber we saw people on the road this definitely just was an experience of a lifetime um not only just being in jamaica but you know seeing where my husband comes from you know i went to his childhood home and that was really interesting kind of seeing you know where he really grew up at where he played at where he um became a man or just andre i guess and you know it was pretty amazing to me um, I threw a rock at a dog. The dog didn't run, but <laughs> you know, even that within itself. If I see a dog out here, I'm running. But dogs out there and goats out there, they're chilling. You know, for the most part, they don't really bother you. Dogs up here are ready to attack because they're not normally out and about. They're normally, you know, with their owner. So that was kind of even amazing to me. So yes, guys, I am very much American. I know, <laughs> I know. A lot of things may be amazing to me. That is just so normal to the typical Jamaican. But guys, I'm learning and that will not be my last time visiting Jamaica. The next time I wanna bring the children, I will have them to, uh, I will have them experience the real Jamaica, but I also want them to go to the resort. So, you know, kind of give the best of both worlds, but I definitely want them to know their roots just as much as I found my husband's roots because these are actually their roots. You know, they are Jamaican. So it's very important that they get to climb trees and do all the stuff that I did. So we definitely want to experience that with them too. But yes, people, I just wanted to go in here and just talk about the positiveness of Jamaica. Just because before I even went to Jamaica, I felt like I heard a lot of bad things. I heard about the crime. I heard about, you know, the poorness and all those things. And like I said, yes, I did see some of that, but that's going to be on a different video, a different talk. But right now, I just want to talk about the positiveness because that's what really impacted me. The positiveness, the experience, the people that were so nice and warm to me. So I just want to say shout out to you, Jamaica as a country. It's beautiful, 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 beautiful. And Peaceful Ambition will be back with her little bambinos. Andre, my husband is still in Jamaica right now, wrapping up some unfinished work, but soon he will be back. Guys, please make sure you are watching all of our platforms because we are still posting. Andre is posting a lot on Andre and Tierra's world. He's still up in Jamaica. Recently, we just posted a Mother's Day special. Um, he did a Mother's Day with his mom and his aunt. He hasn't seen his mom or spent a Mother's Day with her in I don't know how long. So guys, go ahead and watch that. I'm pretty sure it's very special. That's on the Wise Family 5. And also, my baby, Akira's Journal. Go ahead and hit her up, guys. She's dropping, dropping, dropping videos. And y'all already know me, Peaceful Ambition. I will be consistently dropping. I had to take a breather off from traveling. 
in and getting back in mommy mode, but I'm here now, here to stay. Guys, make sure y'all look out for tea time tomorrow. Tea time with tea will be popping, popping, popping. Make sure y'all tune in for that. And Peaceful Ambition will be dropping purses very soon. I'm waiting for my inventory, guys. So look out for peacefulambitions.com to be up and running yes people peace for ambition i am putting in work this year so i would love you guys can just come along with me make sure y'all subscribe find me on facebook also instagram so we can go together and grow together guys i also added some extra pictures just for my vacation just in case not a lot of you guys have social media and was able to see some of my vacation pictures so i hope you guys enjoy You got me in a park No darling, we are strong Till I'm on the Baby, your face is got me attention And your love is not me, your income Love and worry about from the mention You know I don't want to get it in time I can't deny that you're special I cannot lie, you're my best girl To your moon, I do a life tension Baby, you've been down with me since I met you all right people let your ambition be your peace i love you endlessly till next time see y'all tomorrow for tea time bye